What's up, people? How you doing? Welcome to The Way. This is Coach DC, where discipline is the way. Now, this question has been coming up a lot lately, and I was recently listening to a couple of, um, I think they were black Christian women. They answered this question. And everybody seems to answer this question from the everybody seems to answer this question from their point of view or their point of perspective or their point of belief <clears throat> and I've been going on about this belief and behavior thing for the utmost time now but we understand that the belief without the behavior is BS. The belief without the behavior is BS. It doesn't work in any way, shape, or form for anyone. So, when you put your belief on relationships, then you are start to expect certain things from certain people, and you start to see life in only that way as far as that belief goes, which really cuts your options down on people you can date, will date, or see as dateable, etc. But one of the things that I see and hear on a regular basis is everybody saying, you know, why, why are we single? All these women are saying, why are we single? All these men are saying, why are we single? All these people are saying, I don't understand, why am I single? You're single because you've created yourself to be single. Let me explain that. You're single because you've created yourself to be single. I was um, talking to these ladies the other day and we were talking about this whole strong and independent trope. Strong and independent trope or saying or propaganda that's been going along for the last 10, 15, 20 years whatsoever. And I'm saying, did you really, really look at the words? You know me, I, I really look at the words. I have to feel the words. I have to understand how the words come into being and are they helping the situation that's going on at this present time and moment? And I said, strong and independent. This is what you're saying that you are. So if this is what you say that you are, this is what you're going to become. And, and these are the characteristics that you're going to place on yourself and on your life. So this is what your life becomes. Strong and independent. Or strong and by yourself. Why? Because let's look at reality now. What's independent in an independent in this life? In reality, nothing. Nothing's independent in this life. I was born from my mother and father. They raised me. Um, the words that I used, I got from books, school, family, friends, etc. cetera. Um, videos I still watch today. Um, there is no independence in this life. Even the air that I'm breathing right now, the inhale and the exhale, they work together. The oxygen that I'm breathing right now is coming from a tree that's giving it off right now. There is no independence. There is just interdependence. And being strong and hard doesn't work. We see that in nature now. We see the trees blow in the wind. We see how they go back and forth, how they are flexible and pliable. Pliable. Be pliable, be patient, be kind, be adaptable to the situations. Strong with, with, with pliability comes the ability to be strong when needed. But just putting strong and independent. <sighs> to continue saying that says I'm just going to be strong and by myself. Being pliable and interdependent is understanding that we all work together. We all have something we can learn from somebody else. There is no independence in this life. 
And once we start understanding that there are some things that we must understand, like everybody goes and they say, okay, that makes sense. And here's the real trick to it is, in order for you to be helpful to another, you must be able to manage yourself, manage your mind, manage your emotion, manage your breath, manage your money, manage your physicality or your body. Without the understanding of managing yourself first and then going into a relationship, you are completely out of order. Without the dominion and the management over yourself first and then taking all of these emotions and traumas and, and things we brought from the past with us into a relationship puts us completely out of order. So most people will continue to be single and by themselves because they keep with this strong and independent trope, yet they have not become the managers of the, or have taken dominion over themselves to actually be pliable and understand their inter interdependence. So as long as we keep going with this strong independent movement, that's where we will be, single, strong, and independent. Because nature doesn't show strong or inter independence. It shows inter interdependence on each part of each other, back and forth. Even not breathing right now, back and forth. There is no independence. There is no one side. There is a whole. Maybe once we understand that, and once we start creating ourselves in a way that makes us relatable for relationships, maybe then singleness won't be a problem. But until then, until we get out of our current programming of strong and independent, we will be right here where we are, wondering why we're single when we're actually making ourselves that way. Huh, I'm not single. I'm married. Isn't that interesting? Peace.